door opens. <laughs> he's so um, upset about it. And then we go inside of the inside of the cave, and he's like, "Yeah, we're going to Valhalla, my dude. Uh, don't worry about it." I'm like, "Okay, this is fine or whatever." Up to this point, I think that he's a fucking psychopath, and I don't believe anything he's saying. Um, we get into the cave, and uh, Yggdrasil, the like actual fucking tree of life, is there, but it's like metal it's in a and. Cave? <laughs> It's, it's in a metal? giant fucking cave, so we actually metal go to gear. Valhalla. It's a giant metal <sighs> fucking tree-looking thing, and we go in there, and some, like, bitch's mom is there <laughs> that was supposed to be, like, dead from the beginning of the game, uh, and so she's there weird. for some reason, and we don't even question it. She's like, I, There's a, like, passing moment that you can skip over, by the way. I'd like to add this, is that you have to press on, like, the right stick to focus on it and he's like oh fuck what are you doing here and then it's completely dropped like there's no question about it uh it's like how did this woman get in here what is she doing here why is she hooked up to this weird fucking machine um anywho seeger's like yeah we're going to valhalla or whatever uh uh you ain't from you ain't from michigan if you don't do this and then he gets fucking impaled through the spine um by this like weird machine and then he goes limp and i think he's we think he's dead and i'm like oh fuck dude that's wild and then all of a sudden the mechanical thing comes down and stabs me through the spine and, and hoists me up into the air and i have like a fucking panic attack and i pass out and then i open up in what is supposed to be valhalla and there's a bunch of you know like vikings there or whatever and and this bitch's mom is here and she's like yeah um, I'm like Freya, like at like like you know, like Norse mythology Freya, and she looks like the woman that you saw. Uh, she's younger now, so she looks like the woman that you saw in your visions, uh, who is Freya, and you're Odin. And then I'm like, oh fuck, dude, Sigurd is uh Tyr, that one dude that got his arm ripped off. Um. So yeah, so apparently this potion that we made we we drank at the beginning of the game just made us like resurrect. Where we're, we're like, sorry, I, I just almost spoiled it for somebody. Yeah, so we're re we're being like resurrected or or whatever. Um, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, dude. Uh, I guess I should have like listened to you because apparently you're not crazy or something. Uh, and then the day keeps on repeating. Uh, I, I leave my room, I, I walk very extremely, ex excruciatingly slow out into this field, I kill a bunch of people, Sigurd loses his arm every single fucking time, and the day repeats like five times, and I think I see my dad, but it's not my dad, and I'm like, like, bitch, he shouldn't be here, and then all of a sudden my dad walks into the room, and he's like, hey, son, uh, funny seeing you here, and then I fucking throw a knife through his skull. Wait, wait, is this in real life from the video game? No, this is... In this is the in this is in the video game in the video game. Wait. So you're in animus. this animus this like this okay, so you're in an animus inside of the animus. Because okay, the, sure. this this precursor civilization of like super intelligent beings that were on Earth before humans were uh, had like a bunch of fucking created, technology. Is it created like Assassin's Creed video games. And yeah, then they the French company in Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, I knew so the French people were fucking it. aliens. I knew Anywho. it. Yeah, I forgot to mention that part that there's like a precursor civilization of super intelligent people French that people. like ascended mortality garbage or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is what, what the Valhalla is. The so Valhalla is an actual um, fucking place that you can go to, and it's in a fucking cave in Norway, apparently. Um, anywho, you're there, uh, I'm like, Seeger, that's not my dad, my dad died a fucking coward, he shouldn't be here, this isn't Valhalla. And he's like, yeah, you're right, I'm actually just God here, and I can do whatever I want. Um, and I created your dad, so you'd feel better, you little crying-ass bitch. So, and, so what you're um, saying is that Assassin's Creed confirms the Anunnaki the, uh, theory. Yes. Um, so I'm like, yeah, get us out of here, I don't want to be here. Um, and he's like, yeah, sure, I guess we could just leave. 
Um, so we leave. And then all of a sudden, Basm, the, like, assassin dude that met up with Sigurd at, like, the beginning of the game is there. And you're like, bitch, why are you here? How did you find us? And he's like, uh, yeah, I'm, like, evil now. Um, and he's got Sigurd hostage. Uh, and I'm like, please don't do that. And then he just, like, pushes Sigurd to the ground. And he cripples him or something because he can't get up. Um, so I chase after him. Yeah, and then I chase after him, and we have a big boss fight or whatever, and it's really cancerous. Um, because he just uses, like, fucking wall hacks and aimbot. Um, and I defeat him, and, like, the entire fight, he's like, Bitch, uh, you, uh, give me back my son. And I'm like, I don't, what, who's your fucking son? And then I'm like, oh, oh. I know who this is. This is Loki. I imprisoned his son Fenrir as Odin, and I am Odin, and he is Loki resurrected. And I'm like, bitch, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't even know who you are. Um, it's like the you stole everything from me, and I don't know. I don't even know who you are. Me. Um, and then I defeat him, and then as funny haha joke, we hook him up into the the like animus thing for 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 like ever it's like you can you can stay you here and then funny and then we leave yeah funny haha meme uh you get stuck here for all eternity because you can't die in the machine it won't it, it will it won't allow you to die you were like your consciousness is uploaded into the animus um what uh, uh, anywho, uh, that that ends or whatever. I I w as was able to convince Sigurd to come uh, back home with me to England. If you do three or more bad things that Sigurd doesn't like, he's like, Nah, I'm gonna stay here with my piece of shit father. But if um, if you don't do three bad things, he comes with you back to England and he gives you advice every once in a while, and you become you become Jarl of the Raven Clan. Um, so if you only fuck his wife twice, oh, also, he never found out that I was boning his wife on the side. <laughs> Wait, so that's not a, in the game's eyes, it's morally not, it's, it's not counted the so, morality system? No, he just never found out about it. Apparently, if you just don't, like, fuck her when he's around, he doesn't find out. Even though every time she greets me, she's like, hey, love, and he's literally standing, like, in the other room. <laughs> he never finds out, so I, I wasn't. It wasn't counted against me. I don't know if he's a very powerful god. Uh, but anywho, um, totally forgot that I was not actually Ivor, and I'm some bitch named Layla, who was in the anime. She pops that out, way. and she's, she's like, she starts talking about Desmond, and then I'm like, oh, fuck. Yo, why, why do we have to bring Desmond this up? Miles. So she's like, so basically what happened to, to, yeah, to give to give a little bit of context in Assassin's Creed 3 at the end of the game, uh, like the he sun is die. spitting out some mad ass radiation. Um, so he's like, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice myself to create a magnetic field around Earth to save all life. But the problem is, is that was like eight years ago and the magnetic field keeps on getting stronger and the earth is heating up and all the polar ice caps have melted into like polar bears have fucking drowned or whatever um That's and i'm like oh even though desmond turned on the machine here i could probably for some fucking reason go turn it off at this place in norway so we go Why? to norway Why would you i don't do know that? i don't fucking know because the magnetic, magnetic, the magnetic field keeps on getting stronger, and it's heating up the Earth, and it's gonna, like, you know, we're all gonna fucking die if I don't turn it off, apparently. So we go to Norway, we turn it off, Basm is fucking beef jerky hanging up there uh, in the Animus machine, and, um, I, I get sucked into this Animus thing, or whatever it's called, and I go in there, and it's, like, all weird, and then there's, like, a really bright, glowy... AI man who is like yeah I've been here for the past like millennia trying looking at like 1 billion outcomes to see if I can find a solution to like have the earth not blow up and I haven't found one and it makes no fucking sense I'm like why are you doing this why are you here who the fuck are you um and I don't question that whatsoever and I'm like oh you know what we could do 
Uh, yeah. did you think about going back, uh, doing a, like, a what-if scenario where Desmond doesn't save the Earth and everything gets all fucky, and then we'll look at one billion outcomes to see if anyone figured out how to, like, stop the Earth from blowing up there, and he's like, Oh, I didn't think of that! You're a fucking genius! Um, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be here for a couple of years now trying to find a solution to this. For whatever fucking reason, uh, Loki slash Basim falls out of the machine on top of a magic staff that, like, cures what? cancer, and he is brought back to life. Well, being uh, stabbed and, and by a giant, like, spiky thing, that's not cancer. He uh, can't be cured. Does it cure No, he, he's like, he's like beef jerky, and he, he is, like, brought back. Um, and it turns out the staff he is, is actually sentient. The and staff is his lover. Yes, the the staff is his lover and is sentient. And he's like, "Yes, my love, uh, my plan has worked." Like some massive one thousand year big brain plan that he he somehow figured out. Like in this machine, he was taught. He was looking at these one billion outcomes with this fucking woman, and he also reveals like. Yes, you know the dude that tipped you off to find out where Ivor was? Well, that was me, because I spoke with AI Man, and we were able to triangulate where Ivor was buried, based on fucking statistics. Um, and, he, yeah, so he gets out, and he goes back to the two other people I don't even know the names of, who have, like, a paragraph of dialogue between them that are there for whatever reason, and I have somehow fabricated her voice to have a message that says, yeah, don't come look for me. I'm perfectly fine. Uh, you know this, like, 1,200-year-old dude I found in the cave? I gave him the staff that just supposed to bring people back from, like, the fucking dead or something. Um, and he's in charge now. Um, and then I don't remember, but the two people leave, and he's like, oh, you can trust me. Uh, you, you can trust me, I'm a trustworthy person, and they're like, okay, I guess we'll leave you with the really expensive piece of machinery that allows you to, like, look through people's memories, and they just leave and go off and do something, and then you jump back into the Animus, and that's the end of the game. What? Why? why? Uh, I don't know. Because why not? I thought, I could be, I, I was, I guess I was wrong, but I felt like after Desmond died, it's Assassin's Creed 3, they were just, like, done with that whole storyline. Nope. No. God. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Um... And so, yeah, I, like, oh, oh, he's you, like... But yeah, like, right before you jump back into the Animus, you're like, Yeah, Eivor, I'm gonna take all of your abilities and memories, and I'm gonna find my son. And I'm like, well, the game is over, so... You you son. Find your son? Yeah, your son Fenrir, the fucking immortal wolf. Oh, is that the yeah. giant one that you rode around all the time? No, 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 that's- this is the big one that is, um... Oh, I forgot to mention- Oh, Al, were you not there for the amazing mole wolf? Oh, dude, the mole wolf that got stuck outside the map? I wouldn't fucking be the world. So yeah, Fenrir is Loki's son. He's a giant fucking wolf that he had with a giant blue woman. Um... Don't ask. It's Norse mythology. It's fucky. Anywho, Fenrir is... It, the prophecy says that Fenrir the wolf will kill Odin. Uh, and Odin, being the absolute fucking big brain that he is, is like, Well, to stop fate, I'm just gonna lock up this wolf so he can't kill me. And that makes the wolf really upset and Loki really upset. And that's why he has come back, like, 1100 years later, um, to, like, find his son. And he, he, like, tried to kill Layla or something, and yes. And that's what and the game is. This is the part where you tell me that this story was written by AI Dungeon. I, I don't even know at this point. I thought there was going to be more. I, I looked online, I looked everywhere online, I was like, this can't actually be the ending of the game. It's pretty par um, for the course if you think about how fucking shit Assassin's Creed has been for the past several games. I was like, I don't fuck it. What, this. There, that's not an ending. That that feels like you just hit the halfway point in the game. There, yeah, there's literally like, nothing else. It, I, I feel like it, it's really interesting, right? Because because Assassin's Creed, uh, the modern Assassin's Creed game, is like uh, there's so much of just like inconsequential, like open world exploring, hunt gathering, like 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 taking outposts. And then, Brothers, it, life, fucking.
to to have that to have that at the end seems like such a weird decision because it really doesn't feel like it's it's over. It's so they can make the other games. Okay. But, um. Which they should. Yeah, right. it's it's the ending for if you have any amount of fun in the game. Just if you're if you're not miserable the entire time, we won't give you the real ending. Well, Dylan, what's your what's your what's your opinion on the game as a whole now that you've finished it? Yeah. I, oh, I think. I mean, it sounds to me like I can't speak for Dan, but it does sound like you stopped enjoying it more as time went on. I've heard that from a lot of people. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, because I don't want these games to be bad, but like... Uh, well, what can you do? Yeah. They just uh, bad. Yeah. I thought, like, was, I thought you were the one that liked these games, Fucko. Oh, I love Assassin's Creed. But Assassin's Creed ended after Assassin's Creed fucking Revelations. Oh, okay. It's like how... Uh, yeah, I see. Which one was that? Uh, that's the last one with Ezio Adi thought. Yeah. The ones when it was Italians and almost uh, it, ones it, when it was a shit game. Uh, oh, so the last game that was actually about the assassins? Yes. Yeah, the guys with hoods, as opposed to the guys who kind of wear hoods but aren't really related to the to yeah. the people. I still think the it's guys really with hoods funny as how opposed to the guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I still think it's really funny the way they went. Oh, in the Egypt game, they went, oh, here's this ancient weapon from ancient times. I thought this was the Origins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. If I can rec- Okay, so, I just recently finished playing the Outer Wilds. Um... Like... And now I'm even more upset that it got completely overshadowed by Outer Worlds. Because... I'm not joking here, like, the end of that game, like, came close to, like, an actual, I, I, I guess the best we could put it was, like, a spiritual experience. Damn. Like, holy, like, I actually, it, like, actually cried, like, Jesus. <laughs> like, I never do that. <laughs> No, but but like video games, usually I'm usually I'm able to stay de usually I'm just able to stay pretty detached. But holy shit, <laughs> like it's it's a very good game, and I wish I could talk about it. But in the act of talking about it, like if anybody Open. here actually wanted to play it, me talking about the plot would ruin it for them. So considering how much of a blast I just had with. Uh... I may consider picking that up. Yeah. See, you you you've swayed me, Noah. Your 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 constant mentioning of all these games makes me wanna. I'm actually trying them out now. Yeah. It's like because like Outer Wilds is like Fallout New Vegas. Well, of course it is. It was made by the same people. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, I'll, it, it's on sale right now. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's pretty short. It's like the story is, depending on how good you are at uh, the pun at solving the puzzles, it's uh, 15 to 20 hours. Yeah, it's, it's 15 bucks on Steam right now. Yeah. What is? Outer Wilds. Um, oh my god, them ribs looking absolutely yeah. fine, boy. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just hyping up the cool new art indie game I recently played, but I do get the feeling I'm going to be thinking about this game for a while. Awesome, yeah. I mean, I, I'm still thinking about a uh, deer. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna. I, I got some stuff. In, I got some stuff to do it for. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna go do my TA session. I'll talk to you guys later tonight. Night. Uh, yeah.
So yeah, uh, Dalen, what's your IGN rating of uh, uh, sleeping with wives simu simulator? Um, I don't, I don't. It's kind of hard to say because I, I wish I could individually rank everything. I don't, I don't. At the end, of the, every time you did like assassin shit, it immediately brought the rating down for me. And at the end, it was just so weak and boring. Like it was such a weak ending. I I honestly thought it that was just like the halfway point, or there was mm. supposed to be something else afterwards. There's just like, really, that's it. Huh. Yeah. Uh. I mean, if I if I was gonna give it a score overall, I guess I'd probably give it like maybe a six and a half. <laughs> 